it's the Yogs cast. Here we are, we're looking at some of uh, Lewis playing Guild Wars 2. And Lewis, you've been showing how pro you are at games lately, haven't you? I know. This was this was this was a a quest. We were just wandering around with this group of people again after just after last around. time. And um killing some just bats. Out, killing some bats. No big deal. And uh and then you fall down a big hole. Yeah. And <laughs> I didn't even see that at all. I literally had no idea that was there. And when you fall down this hole, there's like a little girl down here. And she's like, I fell down a hole. Oh, no. Can you help me get to my mummy? Are you my mummy? Are you my mummy? <laughs> and, God, she wasn't quite like that. But uh, we then have to go through and escort this girl out of this hole. I just, it was so unexpected. Oh no! Um, there's these destroyer crablings everywhere. Now, I played Necromancer and I just went with the pet Zerg, which you may have already seen. Um, <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful, all those, all those lovely pets everywhere. It feels Horrible, so overpowered, pets. because they never really, like, die. And I chose traits that were all very supportive of the minions, so, like, um, I've got a trait where if I kill something, there's a chance that another minion will spawn called a Jagged Horror, who's a sort of short duration minion. And I've got. Um, oh, those are little feathers. Yeah, there's adorable little feathers. And also, I can sort of, I can cause, you know, corpse explosions on my existing minions and do all sorts of other kinds of crazy nonsense. Um, there is apparently a trait which allows you to summon a whole bunch of minions, but I think it's a sort of a higher level one. So I didn't actually, actually mm. get there. Like a, and that's like a proper kind of crazy creature zerg. Um, so we're, we're in this sort of horrible dark cave. I accidentally used my necromancer ability to, to sort of charge forward, and I found myself wedged in the destroyer burrow. Now this has happened quite uh, a few times to me. Um, <laughs> I, I, I shadow stepped into a door in, um, in World View World and was stuck there for about an hour inside this door. Yeah, um, yeah. Like, I well, it's, it's better than something. me being stuck in a tree in Fable, in Fable 3. Fable 3. Well, I had to so, sort of wait until you know, someone lucky. either like, came and killed me or we got through the door. So that was a that was a fun period of time. And also, on one of our other quests, um, which should be going out later, I got stuck under a coffin lid for a little while. Um, oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah, and my car. Nice. That wasn't very nice at all. But look how lovely this place is. Um, yeah. These mobs are like sort of lava destroyers. The lighting. Um, it's it's suddenly, suddenly we're red. in the nether. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, it's beautiful here. Oh my god, that is what it's like, isn't it? So we've actually got a sort of second event going on here. So we're not only are we escorting this little girl out, but we're sort of trying to. We have to collapse the big destroyer fissure in the middle. Um, so I, I'm sort of wondering where that little girl's gone, but I think she's still following us. Um, I'm sure she's fine. Well, yeah. I'm sure she's fine. I mean, there's a lot of dangerous creatures in there. There's a lot of fire bursting from the ground, and you've just sort of left that girl to make her own way out. Yeah. So we finished the heart uh, for, from some random chap who I hadn't even realised we were doing his heart quest thing. Um, so we finished that. And hopefully, I think through here is a big destroyer fissure. Uh, it looks. I think it's that big thing over there, oh actually. Um, mm. Now we're just. I'm just killing all these things. I think everyone else in the group has gone back to try and find the little girl, but I just sort of pushed on. Thought balls to it. Just You're a necromancer. On. You don't care. You don't care about some little girl that wants help. You just want to sort of own shit. I know. That's exactly how I felt about it. The. Um, I think there's an art to using the necromancer skill that I wasn't really familiar with because you do um, more damage if you have lots of life on the bar. So you you probably should sort of go into the form and then use up half uh. the bar, then go back out of it because you can swap in and out kind of at will with a small cooldown. Mm. Um, and there's a lot of abilities that actively sort of build your necromantic power. So I, I get the impression you're supposed to sort of um, flick in and out. I think this is where we kick Total Biscuit out of the party. Just <laughs> <laughs> he was. Wow. I think he went off to do something else, so we kicked him. That's all right. We love Total Biscuit. This thing's immune to, to damage. I'm not quite sure 
what I was doing wrong. Um, well, maybe it isn't. I'm getting a little bit of damage done on it. I'm not sure. I guess I was just waiting for you guys to come back, just biding my time. It doesn't seem to be... Oh, no, it is. There we go. There we go. So what were you up to? What did you think of this whole place? I thought it was amazing. I mean, what impressed me was the fact that the light actually, like, changes the colour of the character models and everything, and... It's just, it's little things like that that just impressed me. Um, just mm. how those small changes to the world can just alter the appearance of everything. It's like being underwater and having your abilities, you know, look different. It's small touches like that that sort of immerse you in the game. Hmm. I agree. Do you remember doing this? I do, yeah, yeah. It was all a bit of a mess. It was a bit like running a gauntlet. Everything just kept respawning. This girl that we were trying to escort out of the caves kept sort of lagging behind. It's an escort quest, so naturally, you know, even though she's in this cave she doesn't want to be in, she's scared and she's desperate to get out, she still sort of walks slowly, you know, dragging her feet. She's terrible. Um, but eventually she made a way out. Hmm. I managed to get hold of a lightning hammer. Which is weapons. ridiculous. Oh um, and there we are. So we we succeeded in this extremely over the top. Um, but isn't it cool? I mean, you wouldn't <laughs> have found out about this if you didn't just accidentally fall down a hole. <laughs> That's true. That is true. And there's all sorts of that kind of thing in Guild Wars, though, because there's the sort of the multiple layering in everything. So there's there's upper and sort of lower levels that you can sort of go down and up into, and you never know what you're going to find. So this here is a uh, sort of town oh, yeah. we came across that I thought I'd sort of show you on the end of this video. Do you remember going here? It was sort of miles from anywhere. We'd spent quite a long time it's walking beautiful. to get here. And um Isn't it strange? It's a bit like Stratford on Avon with those the houses. It's got the, that sort of old Elizabethan look to the houses. Yeah, and the weird thing is is that there's all these elementals all just sort of chilling out around town. Um, yeah. And when you talk to the sort of population, they're all just like, "What? No big deal. We have elementals around. What's up?" Um, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Pretty much. There wasn't actually yeah. like a quest hub here that I could find, um, but I think this might be an area that sort of isn't f quite in the game yet because mm. we actually. Um, if, I'm going to jump off here in a second. That's me there, cup of chai. That's you there with your backpack full of crazy chemicals. Um, but if you look up there, you see that floating, like, big floating what? building? Did you see this before? It's kind of... Ah. I've no idea what it is, but it looks amazing. It's a floating It's castle. somewhere that we can't go. I think you swam off towards it, uh, <laughs> yeah. and then promptly realised that there was no way up. Um, yeah, I was stuck. Um, there's some really cool looking jellyfish. Ooh. Ooh. My bone horrors like eating it. Delicious. Um so yeah. Oh, isn't this such a pretty game? There's a lot of funky stuff, like and I really like exploring. That thunder shrimp. Isn't he lovely? It's really, really cool to just go exploring <laughs> in a new game and just see where the wind sort of blows you. Um and stuff like that, just discovering it, it's kind of cool as heck. Um, and there's this. This is a very I mean, big game. From what, from my experiences of Guild Wars 2 so far, if you can see it, there's a way to get there. Yeah. There's no just scenery, right? This, it's everything is in the game. If you see a mountain in the distance, you can go up that mountain. You know, it's it's just been so far. That's been my experience. I guess the world has to end somewhere. Uh, yeah. But, <laughs> but as it is, like everything that you've seen, like there's that big dam that was in the distance, like the human starting area, and I was like, oh my goodness. And then you find yourself, you're actually up there on, on this big dam, and there must, there must be a way to get up in that floating castle at some point, and that's going to be pretty mind-blowing. So we just killed some terrible big veteran sea scorpion. Um... And there's a skill point here because there's oh, yeah. skill points sort of dotted around all the time, and this is a, just a sort of a, it's it's normal sort of battle skill challenges. If instead of fighting the guy, uh, you actually fight this 
this uh, fire thingy, Jake instead. So um, we've got the big Zerg of people, so it's not really too much trouble for us. <laughs> um, there you go. And there you go. Get a skill point. So thank you. That was one. That was another bit of little bit of questing. We're gonna. We've got one more bit of questing that we did, um, which was sort of the end of uh, a quest chain that Total Biscuit started, um, and he may have finished it. In, but I'm not sure he's put the videos up. So we'll show that next time. Goodbye.